For over 1,000 years, people from all levels of society have made the tough journey to visit the grand shrines in the Kumano region, to worship nature and seek salvation. These pilgrims used a network of routes now called the Kumano Kodo, which stretches across the mountainous key peninsula. Kumano Kodo, all inspired by nature. There are several different Kumano Kodo routes to suit everyone, from beginners to experienced mountain walkers. When you step onto the Kumano Kodo, you can sense a complete change in the atmosphere. Surrounded by nature, it's a truly mystical place that has remained unchanged for centuries. As well as just walking through the nostalgic scenery of rural Japan, meeting and chatting with the locals are also fun things you can do at the Kumano Kodo. Some sections of the Kumano Kodo can be tough for you, but nature has so much to offer, like quenching your thirst with fresh, clean spring water and watching sunlight filtering through the leaves and shining on your trekking boots. Experiencing the harshness and blessings of nature in Kumano brings you closer to the roots of the Japanese respect for the natural world. This is Kumano Hongu Taisha Grand Shrine. In Kumano, it's believed that you receive salvation for the past, present, and the next world by praying at the three grand shrines in the region. At Kumano Hongu Taisha Grand Shrine, you receive salvation for the next world. This is a river pilgrimage. Like so many pilgrims did before, you travel along the Kumano Kodo by boat. This is Kumano Hayatama Taisha Grand Shrine. Standing by the mouth of the Kumanogawa River, this shrine is known for its exquisite lacquered exterior.
Worshipping this Gotobiki Iwa rock as a deity is the origin of the Kumano Hayatama Taisha Grand Shrine. Continuing on to the Kumano Nachi Taisha Grand Shrine, you go up the Daimonzaka Slope, which is one of the most beautiful sections of Kumano Kodo. Walking up the ancient stone steps, your Kumano Kodo pilgrimage comes to an end. This is Kumano Nachi Taisha Grand Shrine. Together with the Nachisan Seigan Toji Temple located next to it, this shrine is the very center of Kumano belief, where the spirit of generosity to accept everything is said to live. This is Nachi Waterfall, the tallest waterfall in Japan. Pilgrims who stood in front of this waterfall after a long journey surely felt the presence of something spiritual. Well, how was your walk along the Kumano Kodo? It's a unique route where you can sense the beauty of nature and the roots of Japanese culture. People say it's a sacred place that refreshes and revitalizes you. Did it have that effect on you? We hope so.